Hi there, my awesome friends. It's a sunny day in the Garden Roots, South Africa. Thank you for joining the Tape Tag Challenge with me, where I hope to teach you all the techniques and tricks on how to use metal tape. So, I would really appreciate it if you would take a look at my Facebook page, Made by KJ, or on Instagram and Facebook, I'm known as Awesome Crafts. And have a look at all the goodies that you can create after you finish this challenge with me. So for this video today, we're going to assume that everybody is a beginner. So I'm going to introduce to you all the things you need to start this metal tape tape a tag challenge. Some tags. If you haven't got ready made ones, you can cut them out of cardboard, cereal box or whatever you like and make yourself some tags. We are going to make two tags today for this video. I'm going to show you two basic techniques um, which are great for beginners. We're going to use a ballpoint pen, a paper stump, which is used by artists, especially those doing charcoal or graphite drawing. It's used to smudge and create shadows. I don't really think I can recommend anything that can take the place of a paper stump. It is a really useful tool to have. We have our craft blade or um, craft knife. We are going to be using a Sharpie permanent marker, the bullet nose or the chisel nosed tip it's very thick it's an alcohol based marker so if you don't have the sharpie you can try other alcohol based markers but they don't all react or work the same and then i do love to use a an old credit card or loyalty card or itunes card they are fantastic tools and we do use those quite a bit and then black acrylic paint so that's all we need today for this video let's get started The metal tape is usually sold in a roll. It's about two inches wide or 480 millimeters wide. Um, it is a hardware product, not a craft product. So if you're looking for it, look in your hardware store. In America or overseas, they call it furnace tape or it's tape used to repair air conditioners. Um, and it can be found on Amazon. But in South Africa, I generally find this roll of 50 meters at a builder's warehouse but if you're struggling to find it please just send me a private message i'll try and point you in the right direction i do not sell this tape okay to get started we are just going to tear off a bit it has a self-adhesive backing and we're going to crumple it okay nicely crumpled and just smooth it by hand I'm just going to tear a piece off. I love using the craft knife. It makes it easier to remove the backing. Otherwise, we do struggle. And I'm going to place the tape down the middle of the tag. Second piece of tape. I will cut in half lengthways. Just makes it easier to handle it. And then... Once again, remove the backing. So removing this backing is tricky and it can be quite frustrating and just be patient. Even though I have been doing this for five years, I still struggle as you can see, it's hilarious. But we will persevere and we will get it off. Oh my word, there you go. I always overlap the tape on the sides, as you can see. Another piece. Oh my word, this is really very frustrating. And once again, overlapping the side. I will use my credit card and just smooth it. Not going over the edge there. Lift it up and we will trim it with our blade. You can, oh, sorry. You can use scissors, but I find the scissors get very sticky from the tape. And I don't want to clean my scissors after I make one tag. So I'll use my blade mostly for trimming the tape. For this tag, we're trimming all the tape off because you can use it as a gift tag afterwards 
if you give somebody a present, you can write on the back, which is useful. And hopefully I can get that all. Okay, so now we've trimmed that, missed a bit. Okay, done. Using your credit card again, smooth it down really nicely. And our pen, we can use to, to draw in the background. Okay, so we're just drawing on the background. And just for a bit of interest, I'm going to scribble around here. Okay, so there you go. One very simple tag. And what I want to do is use my ruler if I can find it. I did have a ruler here somewhere. Okay, and I'm just going to draw a border on it just for some interest. There you go. There you go. Lots of little things that add interest to your tag. So that's all I've done. I've used the pen instead of the stylus or the nail art tool. And then I've just drawn a line with a ruler. That's some sweet and simple. And we're going to color it in with a Sharpie. I'm going to color the whole tag in. And I like to use the backing of the tape. Make sure you put it side, shiny side down, just so you don't transfer the ink onto your fingers. And then I'll put that aside for a minute or two to dry. Now the second tag we're going to make, exactly the same process, except I'm really gonna crumple this tape quite a lot more. So it'll have a lot of fine creases in it. You have a look there, fine creases. Okay, I think I've crumpled even more because I want lots of little creases. The more creases you have, the more place you've got for your ink to stick. Okay, so you can see that was really crumpled. Exactly the same as the first tag. Now you'll notice I've got lots of little pieces left. Don't throw them away. You will definitely use them in another project. And then once again, just cut it in half. Overlapping. Another one overlapping. There you go. Okay, now this one we are just going to smooth with our finger. We're not going to use the credit card or anything. And lift that up. Trim it. And all done, neat and tidy. And you can see the lots of lots of little creases. Now, I'm not smoothing this, as I said, with the credit card, but now we are going to use some acrylic paint. And really doesn't matter what brand, I must admit. You will soon learn I'm not about brands. I just use what I have. Some of my stash is 10 years old. Really use what you have. And we're just going to paint paint this. Make sure you paint it really well that you get in all the little 
creases and nooks and crannies. Okay, so, so acrylic paints, depending on the make, some of them dry really fast and some of them take a while. So we're going to put that aside just for a minute to dry a little. We don't want it to be completely dry because then it's difficult to, to wipe off. Okie dokie. So while that's drying, back to our other tag that we just created. We are now going to take a piece of paper towel. I like using an old t-shirt and we're going to just rub, rub it. And here you can clearly see where we scribbled around the little uh, hole protector. Um, the ink has stuck really well there and you can see the creases. Looks great. Okay, this one should have dried enough. So back to the acrylic paint. We're just gently going to rub it off. And you can rub as much or as little as you like off. And there is our acrylic paint one. And you can see, because I didn't smooth the tape down firmly with the credit card, it's got lots of amazing creases and texture. If I compare the two, you will see the difference. This one was one that I made earlier. And um, you can see that I buffed a lot more ink off. So yeah, and then if we look at the card we made today together, there you see the difference. Very smooth and buffed, lots of texture and the acrylic paint has really stuck well. This is a lovely grungy look. So I challenge you to make these two simple tags and to please keep them. I know they look plain, but we will be using them later. And to join the Facebook group, Tape a Tag and share your creations in the group with us. And um, I hope you have an awesome day and thank you for joining us. And let's continue with the fun. Best regards.